Here are the six tools I use in my business to help keep me and my team organized without having to feel stressed 24 seven. What's up everyone, it's Millie. Welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help you grow your brand. So give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks I have for you. First, I wanna give a huge thank you to this video shout outs. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. If you wanna shout out in one of my future videos, be sure to screenshot yourself watching this and tag me over on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I value your time and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. First and foremost, I wanna say a disclaimer about productivity. Even though the world literally defines productivity as getting a lot done within a short amount of time or the effectiveness of a productive effort, Productivity to me simply means being intentional with your time and doing what you say you're going to do. It doesn't have to measure how hard you're working. You can plan your day and literally be like, I'm gonna be a potato from 9 a.m. to noon because I need to cry. And bam, that's productivity. Productivity doesn't have to look like getting a lot done. I like this definition better. The state or quality of producing something. Because like when I'm sleeping, I'm literally producing energy for me to work the next day. So yeah, I just wanted to say that in case there's any of you out there like me who struggle with like work addiction and find it hard to do nothing, remember that doing nothing can actually be productive and that's okay. Make sure you're taking care of you, your mind, your heart, your body. Your mental health comes first before the list of things that you have to get done that day. Everything that I'm talking about today, all the apps, all the tools, they both have their app version for phone users and desktop versions. So just wanna clarify that, even though I'm showing screen recordings on just my laptop, you can use them both on your phone or laptop. Now that I said my piece, let's talk Trello versus ClickUp. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I've always used Trello for my business, for life. Literally, I have videos on my channel teaching how I use Trello to plan Instagram content, YouTube videos, and even show some personal boards that I use it for like Christmas lists and my go-to meals, literally everything. And then in a recent video, I said that I recently switched from Trello to ClickUp and y'all were like, um, what? What? I thought you said you love Trello. And I do but there were just some complications that started to show up in Trello as my business started to grow. So let me talk about each of these platforms individually, and then I'll talk about which one I would recommend for which person or type of business. Trello first. Trello is a web-based Kanban style list-making application used to keep track and organize everything from finances to blogs, YouTube, social media, launch strategies, podcasts, all the things. Let me break that down because there was probably a few words in there that you didn't quite catch. Kanban. Kanban is a process that's commonly used in project management. It's a visual based system for managing work as it moves through a process. In Japanese, the word kan means visual and ban means card. So Kanban refers to visual cards. The most traditional Kanban formats look like this, to do, doing, and done. And then you track your progress or tasks as they move through each card on a board. Trello is free. It is a phone app or desktop. And I use the free version of Trello the entire time I use Trello for my business. So like five years and I never ran into any problems. So if you want a Trello 101 rundown, you can watch this video here for a step-by-step -step tutorial. ClickUp is a cloud-based all-in-one work platform to manage people, projects, and everything in between. It combines important business applications and centralizes company information into a single online solution. So you can assign tasks to team members, manage projects for clients, integrate other systems like Gmail, Airtable, Google Calendar, and all the things. So this is what my ClickUp looks like right now. I have spot spaces for organizing my team contact information, their business directory. I organize my content. So like YouTube, Instagram posts, we also have a section to help with the course launch that's coming up. So we organize the funnels there, all the things. If you wanna look at an actual space, let's take a look at this space. So this is what I use to plan out my YouTube videos. I have all of the videos that I've ever posted in a backlog, including all of the scripts that I've ever written for every video and the thumbnails for every video in case we want to recycle or repurpose content. Same thing for my Instagram page. We have an Instagram content calendar. ClickUp also has a free version, which does limit you on space. So if you do eventually decide to upgrade, the way the payment works is pay per team member. So I believe the basic subscription is $8 per team member per month. Yeah, so they do have this free option. 
which I started using as my team grew and as we needed more boards and more spaces, I switched to the monthly plan paying per team member per month on maybe the unlimited plan. This is what the one I might be on currently. Now Trello vs. ClickUp. Which one would I recommend? If you're an individual business owner who is struggling to keep track of all the things you're juggling in your business, or if you're a visual learner, someone who works best when the visual presentation is clean and organized, then I would definitely 100% recommend Trello. The simplicity of the platform just makes it easy so that anyone can use, no matter what your background is on business organization or project management. It's literally so easy a caveman could do it. Now on the flip side, if you're somebody who has multiple moving parts in your business, maybe you juggle multiple platforms, projects, different streams of income, and you also have a small but mighty team, so maybe a team of three people or more, then I would recommend ClickUp. The reason ClickUp is better in this aspect is because the way you can communicate with your team is way more seamless here, assigning tasks, making sure stuff is getting done, it's really easy. You also have a home view, so if you have anything on your to-do list for that day, you can see it right there. You don't have to board hop to see what needs to get done. It's all right here. So that was one of the things that I struggled with on Trello was in order to see what I had to get done, I had to go to a bunch of different boards to see, okay, what do I have to do today for YouTube? What do I have to do today for Instagram? What do I have to do for collaborations? So I was board hopping a lot and I just wanted one place that showed me what I needed to get done that day. Um, or even notifications from my team. And then finally, the integrations are more advanced. Like my social media assistant makes my Instagram content calendar an Airtable. And then my brand collaborations manager organizes my collabs in Milanote because that's what they're comfortable with using. And I love that for them. So I'm able to integrate both the Airtable and Mila Note workspaces onto one space in ClickUp and see everything that they're working on. Since everyone's not gonna be a fan of ClickUp, I do have some alternatives for you. You can use Asana, Monday.com, or Notion. Okay, with all of that said, which of these two platforms would you be leaning towards more? Trello, ClickUp, let me know in the comments below and why you think it would be the best fit for you. Next on my list of faves is Sansama, which is also the sponsor of today's video. And whether or not Sansama sponsored this video, they would still be on my list. I started using Sansama in November, right around my course launch, when I was super stressed about everything that I needed to do. I felt like I wanted my own personal to-do list and that's when I fell in love. No, but really I talk about them on my Instagram stories all the time. So if you follow me over on Instagram, this probably sounds familiar to you. Sansama organizes all of your tasks, to-dos, and meetings day by day in one place, which is exactly my preference for planners and calendars. Like I have this weekly planner that I found at the 99 cent store in 2020, and I am on the last page. I was nervous about losing it because it's not at the dollar store anymore. <laughs> or the 99 cent store. So I was super relieved when I found Sensama and started to use them on a daily basis. Now I'm showing you the desktop version of Sensama, but they do have the app for anybody who upgrades um, to their purchased plan. Now I know I already said that ClickUp puts everything in one place, but let me show you what I mean when I say everything in one place with this one. When you first create a Sensama account, they ask you a bunch of onboarding questions, like what does your day-to-day -day look like? How much time do you spend on these tasks? What's getting you in the way of you getting stuff done? Like what interrupts your productivity? So it's a fun onboarding process. They ask you a few questions to get to know your work habits, and then you start creating tasks for yourself. Right now I'm in my workspace, I'm showing you November's was a busy time for me during my, during my course launch, so I'm showing you what that looks like. This is the workspace on the left, and then I also can do personal space. So this is final Thanksgiving shopping. So like what I needed to make sure I was getting done for my personal life. Um, or you can see everything in one place, and this is all in one place. So kind of like how with Trello you can't combine boards, but on Sensama you can. And on top of that, even if you already are using Trello or you already are using ClickUp in your business, over here on the right, you see Google Calendar and ClickUp. And over here at the bottom, I can add more integrations. They have GitHub, they have Jira, which is another project management tool, Trello. So you can link everything into one place and then all of your tasks on whatever platform you're on are here, including meetings and everything. So I have my calendar linked here and I have my ClickUp linked here because those are the two other apps that I use for my business with like scheduling calls. And then I accept them something through my inbox and it gets added to my Google Calendar, but maybe it didn't get added to ClickUp or something. It's just all here. So if I wanted to look at my ClickUp stuff, these are all the unscheduled tasks that I would have to do. 
So I would drag these over to a day, pick a day to get them done, and I could schedule out my ClickUp tasks in one place. Same thing with business meetings. You get to see your business meetings here, so it has that good personal work balance. Now, they also have this calendar view, which I really like, and I like to do the calendar view by week. So it shows everything visually and everything's color coordinated. So these are my calls that were booked and integrated through Google Calendar. Um, I have ClickUp tasks that I can drag over. If you wanted to add something new, you could literally just click and drag and then there's your new task added. You're able to time block and batch. So I love the time blocking aspect of it and the visual side that you get to see. You can add more channels if you want. So if you are working on multiple projects, usually your channels are separated into time blocks. So however you spend your time, whether it's YouTube, you spend a chunk of time on YouTube. Content planning, if you spend time on content planning. My personal life, I have a board for that. So that's how you can separate your channels. And then you just go through your day and check things off and it's already there. And then at the end of the day, you schedule your stuff for the next few days. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know, I don't wanna say it's like really fun because maybe not to everybody it's fun, but the organization side of it is fun for me. Plus being able to check things off of my list that I get done. It's like script YouTube videos. Woo, I already scripted my YouTube videos. And then every day at the beginning of each day, you can start your plan. So you can do your today's plan, write down new tasks if you want, or at the beginning of the week, you could do your week plan. And it just makes it really easy to integrate with a bunch of other systems. So that's why I really like Sinsama and I have a membership. The Sinsama plan for one person to use is $20 a month, which might sound a little heavy at first, but literally skip four trips to Starbucks every month and it'll literally save you your peace of mind. So if you're simply curious about it, want to try it out, I'll put a link down below where you can start a 14 day free trial and just see if it's a good fit for you. The next tool that I use is Slack, and I use Slack for communications with my team. I love Slack, I used it when I worked in corporate, and it is fan frickin tastic This is Slack, and you're able to communicate with your team directly here. I'm somebody who <laughs> hates using WhatsApp and uh, Voxer or texting different team members. I try to separate my phone from my work life as much as possible. So when I can find apps or tools that are both apps and desktop, it's like perfect because my team can use it as an app if they need to, and then I'm able to just solely use it on my computer. And this is how I communicate with my team. I can direct message them here. We have channels that separate the topics that we're talking about. So there's only certain people in particular channels so that anybody who they don't need to be a part of the conversation or they don't need all the information to overwhelm them, they're only in channels that are dedicated to them and their activities or their work tasks. So if you're paying monthly and you're on their starter plan, it's $8 per user per month or you could do yearly, and if you divide that up, it's about $6.60 per user per month. I'm on the pro plan with my team, and I have about five members on there. It helps tremendously with the communication with my team, and I love it. I love it. The next two tools I briefly mentioned already, the first is Airtable, and Airtable is a modern spreadsheet tool with database functionalities. I heard a lot of people talking about Airtable a while back, so I tried to use it out by myself. I got overwhelmed, ran away, hit under a rock. Then my brand collaborations manager started to create a better system for tracking payments and that was organized on Airtable and I was like, oh shoot, this isn't bad. Uh, now I use it for multiple spreadsheets like payment tracking, Instagram content calendar, brand directory spreadsheets. I have the onboarding form that new team members fill out when they join my team. I have my team directory, which is if anybody on my team is confused about who to ask for what things, they can check out the brand directory. This is also synced up with ClickUp so they can access all of this stuff on ClickUp directly. I have content research for just getting brainstorming done and ideas for future YouTube videos or Instagram posts. The brand directory, my VA or my social media assistant, she does the content calendar um, for my Instagram. We have payment tracking and brand outreach spreadsheets. Now the one that I skipped for a second is the brand directory. And if you're like, hold up, what's a brand directory spreadsheet? It's amazing. Basically, I have a master list of this brand directory inside of my Instagram course, The Modern Influencer, with over 200 ready to pitch to public brand contacts. So if you're an influencer or you're an aspiring influencer, I'll leave a link below where you can check out my Instagram course to see if it's a good fit for you. There's a bunch of goodies inside the Instagram course like this one, like 
pitch templates, media kit templates, there's even Trello templates for planning your content calendar. There's three different types of content calendar templates. It, it's a bunch of goodness. So if you're an aspiring influencer who wants to grow on Instagram, land paid brand collaborations, I'll be sure to link the Modern Influencer down below so you can check it out. With Airtable, I really love the relationship that Airtable and ClickUp seem to have. Their chemistry is just unmatched. They do have a free version, which is what I use, so you can get an account today and get started right away. Or if you want to upgrade your space, you can upgrade to $12 a month. Next, we have Milanote, and I do not love Milanote more than I love Trello or Sunsama, but I will say it's been really helpful with me and my collab manager making sure we're getting everything done. And multiple of, of my other students prefer to use it. My husband prefers to use it over all the other tools that I've shared with him. So you can consider this an honorable mention. Milanote is an easy to use tool to organize your ideas and projects into visual boards. I love how you can start with a clean slate and then you have the creative freedom to do whatever the heck you want. Um, I can't really show you this board with my collabs manager because there's partnership information in there that I cannot share due to privacy clauses and contracts and all that fun stuff. But I will show you this board that I created earlier in 2021 um, when I did my first course launch and I was having a hard time organizing everything that I had to do. I just needed to visually explode it onto a page and I had this really big monitor that was new so I made it huge and I was able to organize everything so it was really fun. So this was the Milanote board that I made. It seems pretty clustered right now, but on the screen behind me, it was perfect. It was huge. It was just what I needed to just check everything off. And it helped me so, so, so much leading up to my course launch. Milanote's great because you can click and drag, create cards like this, create to-do lists. You can add an image straight into Milanote. You can upload files directly into Milanote. My husband uses it for organizing um, vision boards anytime he's working on a video project for a new client. So he does the shot list visually and sends that to his clients and he loves it that way. The pro with this tool is if you don't like any of the other softwares that I showed you today or the other tools that I showed you, it's a really great DIY space that you can really turn into your own work style and workflow. I use the free version of Milanote and haven't yet upgraded. I haven't needed to, but if you do need to upgrade, it would be $12.50 a month. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, hug that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next video. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Follow your joy. Bye.